This is Giant Trader, and this is Midday Trading. Okay, today we're going to take a look here, see what's going on with natural gas, with crude oil, and we're going to take a look here at Tesla, T-S-L-A. This video is for information purpose only, not a recommendation to buy, sell, stock, come on, ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have natural gas, your hourly and your four-hour chart. Now, you can see here where we had just a beautiful run right on up here. Look at this. Nice series of uh, uh, higher lows and uh, higher highs. Very, very nice. And then yesterday, a peak trade out there at uh, 3.159. Now, today, you notice that it just, the highest it got here today on the old net of gas was uh, 3.13. Okay, and that's pretty much how as far as we got there today. Now, we're coming down here, but we're holding this key support level here. And this is going to be the key is going to be this 3.05 level. If not, we can go over here to this price channel. You're looking at that 303 level, and then you can come all the way down here to this 2.96 here. But again, as long as we're holding up here, you still have that series of higher lows going on here very, very nicely. But again, once you start losing that, then we start, then we do it just in, in reverse all the way on down. But so far today, we have an inside day. So we're actually, the natural gas is just taking a little break after that really, really nice run. Now, here you can see on the four hour chart here, really nice bottoming pattern, that series of higher lows all the way on up here. But look at here, see? They're holding this level here, that 3.0, very, very nice. Uh, we have that 3.08 you want to get above, but we're really holding this top section here, which is very good. As long as you're holding that 21 day here, you're looking good. If not, you're going to come right down here to that problem, that 50 day, and then we could just retest all this here. But right now, we're looking very, very good here on the old Natcha gas. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily chart. Okay, here we have the daily chart. Now, so far today, we just have an inside day. And then all that means is your high and your low is on the inside of the previous day's high and low, okay? So let's take a look here at the downside first. So, so far today, we had that low of 3.028. Uh, uh, this is what you're really trading against is this 2.96 level. You can see how nice that, that support was right there, 2.96, come right across. Now, again, if that is lost there, then we come right over to the top of this candle. You're looking at 2.92, and then we come down to this 8 SMA here at 2.88. Uh, again, this is very, very critical here, but that 8-day, very, very nice. 21-day, 50-day, bottom left, upper right, that's exactly what you want to see. But look at here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days of rally here. One little day of red candle isn't going to be anything, okay? So always remember that. Now, a couple things I want to show you here. See, we had this high here. And then we had this uh, uh, high here on your uh, RSI. We made a higher high here, but we made a, a lower high on the RSI here. So what we have here is a negative divergence. Now, again, them don't always play out, but just keep your eye on that here because what a lot of times what I can do is when you have that negative divergence, it can come right on down here and then you can just sell right on off here, okay? Or if this bounces back up here and gets above that, then she can just go higher, okay? But just keep your eye on that. Now, your MACD, your green is over your red. Still looking very good, very bullish here. As long as we just have an inside day, we're fine, okay? So, again, bottom, uh, just watch this key level right here. That's at 2.96, and then watch that 2.92, and then your uh, 2.88. That is your downside targets if this sells down. Upside, here's what we want to look at, is you want to look at yesterday's high, that 3.159. If, you know, you can get above that, then there's your target right there. 3.189, we have right here, 3.23, you have 3.37, and then boom, right up here, 3.39. Very, very nicely. And then obviously, I say, if we can get above that, then we just look right here. This is what you're going to be looking for. This is that gap, 3.40, and then we look to the bottom of the candle, 3.45, gap, fill. Those are just like a magnet to a fridge, so eventually when this runs up, that will be filled. And then you have a big retest up here at 3.64. But right now, we just have to take it easy a little bit. Just just see how this day is going to shake out. But right now, it's really kind of like a nothing burger. It's just an inside day. Okay, let's take a look and see what the old crude ski is doing. Okay, here we have crude oil daily and weekly chart. Now, you can see here how it ran right on up here. And just like I said, it went right into resistance. Now, the EIA report came out here. It wasn't as good as that API last night here. Okay, I'm looking at it right now. And on the crude, uh, we had a build of 3.73 million. Uh, on gasoline, you had a bill of 2.56 million. And on distillate, you had a bill of 0.88 million. And then on the old Cushing, you had a draw of 1.593 million. I'll have all those numbers posted for you after the pick close here today. But, you know, not very bullish. Uh, yesterday uh, on the API, we had draws right across the board pretty much. Uh, so, you know, not really good. However, 
you know, we're good at the trading. So this is what we have here going on. Okay, so if you watched my video this morning or yesterday or the day before or the day before or the day before, okay, I always talk about you buy support and you sell resistance. Now, yesterday we had a nice bottoming candle. Today we had a higher high, but I pointed out in this morning's video, you got to watch that resistance level, okay? So we're looking at right here, 79.38. And then we're looking at this 200 day at 7940. Okay, so so far today, 7932. That's your selling. Okay, you want to sell into that because this is like a brick wall. Wait for it to pull, pull back down here, and then buy again. So right now I'm back in the trade. I sold right into that. Uh, let's see what I sold that UCO here at 32 flat. It got as high as 3211. So I didn't get the top. But I sold it at 32, looking very nice. Now I'm back into the trade here. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out. So let's look at the upside. Okay, so obviously you want to watch today's high at 39.32. And then what we want to watch is we want to watch right here. This is going to be key. This is that um, uh, 39.32. That was that, uh, what was that? Um, no, here's what we want to watch here. What am I looking at here? Oh, yeah, okay, 79.40. This is what you want to watch, okay, on the upside. Very, very key. Now, this 8 SMA here on your uh, weekly chart, uh, 78.51, that's going to be very, very crucial. Now, you notice that it went above, but right now you're still below it. Right now you're sitting at uh, 78.32. Okay, so your next level here is going to be that 21 day at 78.39.38. And then we have that 100 day at 79.40. And then we can just work your way up. You have 79.75. And then we have your 50 day here sitting at 79.63. That whole area right here, right here, strong, strong resistant level here. But you got to get above this 8 SMA. Now, we got above it, but you got to close above it. That's the key. Now, don't be afraid to trade this, okay? Just because we have a sticky candle here right now, that doesn't mean that that can't be up and finish up higher here and then go higher here tomorrow, okay? So you want to trade it. But when you get this resistant level, you sell into that. Even if you sell half your shares or whatever, because then you can always buy that other half up if it goes back and take it right on up. But always, it's going to be strong resistance. I'll give you another example. Right here, where did it go? Into the 21 day. Where did this go? Right there, okay? Where did this go? Right there, okay? So always look at these uh, resistant levels here as selling opportunities, even if it's half share, quarter share, whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? That's what you want to sell into, and then you can always rebuy it. Now, let's look at the downside here. Let's look at the key levels. Your key levels here is going to be this 21-day, 77.49, this 200-day, 76.15, and then 75.87, your 8-day. But now you can see the 8-day is curling up here. The 21-day is flattening out here. we got to see how this is all going to shake out here today. But this could be another buying opportunity. Let's see how the day shakes out. RSI looking good. MACD, you got the bullish cross here. Looking very, very good there on your MACD. Plenty of room to your run. Okay, let's take a look here at Tesla. Uh, okay, just before we get to Tesla, let's look at the crude oil here, your one and your five minute chart. Okay, so you can see here what it ran up very, very nice here, and then you couldn't really get through this. See how it kind of like flat line ran up to a real nice 79.32 level. And then look at this big red candle. This is uh, pretty much here. Uh, uh, right below that a uh, eight SMA. So when this falls off, okay, and this comes down, you got to get out of that trade, okay. So I just put a, a sell in there at UCO because of the daily chart, okay. So right there, and it came all the way down. So I missed a high by eleven cents. Big deal. Made a pile of cash going on the way up. But see, now what we're doing is now we just have the opposite. See how that was flat line came on down. Now we have just the opposite here, okay. So now we have a low. Now we have, okay, a, like a double bottom situation, and now we have these series of higher lows here, okay? So now I am back long again in the UCO, okay? Matter of fact, it just clicked in here. What the heck was it? Um, 31, uh, 3130, I'm in the UCO, and I have a break-even stop going, okay? So now we've got to see how this is all going to shake out. This could very well run up very, very nicely. So when you look at the five-minute chart, it's the same thing. When you see this falling off the cliff here, and when you see uh, are these red candles here, just get out of the trade and compare it to your daily chart, okay? And that's what you, and your weekly chart, and then your one and your five minute. Do all the comparisons and see where this is all shaking out when you go into that resistant levels. Why did it stop at 79.32? Because that resistance is right above that at that 79.40 level, okay? Then when she sells right off, you got to get out of that trade, or you can short it, but I'm not going to short it. 
uh, here today, not in this time frame. Uh, it came right down. Now we look like we have a bottom here, and let's just see if we can run this back right on up here and take it all the way back, which could be very, very possible. Okay, now let's look at Tesla. Okay, here we have Tesla, your daily and your weekly chart, okay? So the big thing is going to be, uh, I think they're voting today. You should have the news out there tomorrow uh, about Elon Musk's $56 billion, with a B, pay package, okay? Now, this is backwards looking, okay, on the pay package. This is not forward looking. So if he gets that $56 billion, then they're going to create a new package for him to go forward. Now, uh, a lot of people say, well, he's going to leave Tesla and he's going to take his, his information and go. I don't think so. Tesla is his piggy bank. OK, just remember that. OK, he's got everybody snookered in here, all the governments and everything, giving them all subsidies, building up plants, doing all this nonsense. So he's not going to give that up. It's just that right now he's, he's got so much, so many coals in the fire. He's not really dedicated to Tesla. OK, their sales are down. The revenue is down. The production is down. You know, everything is down. To me, I'm not even in this. I'd rather be in NVIDIA. I'd rather be in TQQ. I'd rather be in Apple. I'd rather be in something here that actually has a lot better flavor than what's going on with this, okay? However, let's look at the charts. Okay, here we have your daily chart. Now, what we're looking at here is you want to close above this key level. That's 178.95, okay? So if we get above that, then we can have all these targets, okay? So you got 182.64, you have uh, 182.67 here, but this is what you're looking at is 186.88. That's going to be the big boy right there, okay? If you can bust above that, then we're going to come right up to this target here. You're looking at 198.87, and then you're going to have that 200-day at 209.97. Now, remember how fast Tesla can move. It can really move. What I don't like is, look at this weekly chart. You have a high, lower high, lower high, lower high, and then basically we're waiting for news to see if we can get this here on a turnaround, okay, kind of a situation. Now, if this falls off a cliff, what you always want to watch here is this T21 uh, SMA here, you're looking at 176.87, you're looking at 172.25, but realistically, you're looking at the bottom of this candle here, that's 167.41, that's what you're really looking at, because that's where it held that key level, double bottoms, kind of a support level going on right there, okay? So if that's lost, always look at here, okay? You look at the bottom there, 158.36, uh, but this is the candle you want to watch, 157.51, there's your gap, and then on top of it here is your fill at 147.26, okay? So your gap, your fill, and if that's lost, your big retest down here is 138.80. Uh, now, again, if that falls off here, well, you can come all the way down to the big letter here, 101.81. But, again, we got to see how this news is going to play out. I think they're going to give him the pay package, and, you know, this bullshit of his is going to keep right on going on and on and on, you know what I'm saying, with the subsidies and, and this car that he's promising for 25 grand, which will never happen, and, uh, and that one robo-taxi is going to come out there in, in August and all this kind of stuff. However, all that I really don't care about. Can you make money off the stock? That's all I care about, okay? So if this rallies up here, watch that 186.88, and then watch this key level right here at that 198.87, and then she could rip all the way up to that 209.97. On the downside, this is very, very critical. This is that 167.41, because that was the double bottom right there off that 167.75. So watch that double bottom. If that's lost, just watch this gap, okay? That's going to be key right there. And then watch that fill, okay? Very, very crucial. Now, when you take a look at this big picture here, you can see the same thing, that series of uh, lower highs. But however, when you look at this whole uh, scenario here, you do have like a left shoulder, your head down here and the right shoulder, and this could blast up here very, very easy. But there are a lot of big resistant levels going on here, and your big target is going to be that 209.97 here. But you got to be very, very leery. The key to any kind of a news, it's not the news that matters. It's going to be the reaction to that news. That's going to be the key, okay? Always remember, the reaction to the news, whether the news is positive or negative, it don't mean dick. The key is, what is the reaction? What are the traders going to say? What are they going to do? Are they going to pile into this? Are they going to sell this off here? That's the whole key, okay? So always remember that. So just watch that downside, then watch that key 186, uh, uh, 88 upside. If you can, you can rally all the way on up here, all the way there. But really, realistically, this is the target that you're looking for, that 209.97. Okay, that's what I got for you, and I'll be back here uh, later today, uh, after pit close, and we will do uh, crude oil and natty gas. And don't forget, trade the market, okay? Trade what's in front of you, not what you want.
Thanks for watching.